Hey Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your uh, first half of August love reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, just click on one of the links in the description box below. Okay, let's get started with your reading. What are the energies for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for love? Just a couple quick shuffles here. You can bypass this part if you like. Okay, so we're starting with the Nine of Wands, <clears throat> Queen of Swords, Let's see if you can see these, Three of Swords, Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So let me have a look here and see. <clears throat> well, your overall energy is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius that may have... Uh, broken your heart or there could be that energy floating around during this two weeks possibly an argument coming or some type of um i feel like it's words that will hurt your heart by this knight of wands energy uh, it, it, this person whoever you're dealing with could be like a player <clears throat> You know, their energy is they basically just come in and then they swoop out. There's it's very passionate energy. So if it's not a Sag, it could just be another fire sign, Aries or Leo. But I am picking up something to do with that situation where, you know, <clears throat> this could be somebody also returning back into your life who uh, is kind of like a heartbreaker. Now you've got though the nine of wands here. So this tells me that you are putting up your boundaries when it comes to this person, especially if this is someone who has that energy still from the past and comes back in and then, you know, tries to do that again or tries to play that energy out again with you. Um, I feel like for you, with the Nine of Wands here, you're kind of like, if you can look and see all of her wands around her, she's just, she's kind of sitting back and almost like preparing. So, you know, I, I feel like this person, you're on to them or you, you know, like, you know, what game they play or how they behave or if this is someone new it's just you you're prepared to deal with someone like this you know your courage may be tested if this is someone that you ended a relationship with and you told them it was done and you know all of a sudden they come back during this first half of august which they could you're prepared for that and also with the Queen of Swords here, you have your, you know, your sword up. And this is the Libra card. So you, you have that sword up. And you are, you know, you're not going to let anyone. I don't feel like, I feel like this person probably is going to come back. Whoever they, whoever they are that you are thinking of or you're dealing with. Um, or this is someone new, like I was saying, but uh, your boundaries are set, your sword is out, you're not going to 
allow someone to hurt you or take advantage, even though this person may test you. Now with the five of pentacles here, this is someone feeling left out in the cold. And that might be something that you do to this person. If they try to make a return into your life or if they try to, or if there's someone new coming in. I feel like you've, for some of you, this is like the third time around where they, they're they back again. And, you know, you're like, no. Or they just have that player energy where they're just, you know, they're cheating or they have been cheating or lying to you and they just keep piercing you and, and you know, you're leaving them out in the cold with the five of pentacles. That's This will be basically what the energy will be out of this situation. You know, and it could make you feel a bit ill, but it's going to make them feel pretty bad too, um, or feel isolated or worried, you know, but I feel like, uh, I, I mean, I'm not saying necessarily, I, I just feel like it's for you that you aren't going to let someone come in and try to take advantage of you, especially if this is someone from your past coming back. But I do think that they will be patiently waiting outside your door. I don't feel like this. It's almost a challenge to them for you to deny them. They're not going to give up because the Page of Pentacles is, you know, patience. I'm just going to clarify some of these cards to see if we can get more information. Page of Wands, Ten of Swords. What is the energy for this Knight of Wands? And this Six of, six of Swords and the Three of Swords. King of Wands. The King of Wands can be an Aries, but as I was saying, it's either Aries or Sagittarius, or you had a fire sign that hurt you in the past. And with the Six of Wands, I just feel like, you know, this person, they are coming in to conquer and, you know, take you away, so to speak. But I don't feel like you want that. I, don't, I feel like, not that you don't want it, you just don't want the bullshit. And I feel like that's why you have your your sword up here because of the, the Ten of Swords. It's almost like you're not going to be betrayed again because that's the energy that you pick up from that person. And you have been waiting to hear from someone with the Page of Wands. You're prepared. It's almost as if I feel like some of you just know this person was going to come back or they were going to return. And... I feel like the first half of August that could happen. They're going to like try to bring in some new bullshit for you. Sorry for my cursing, PMSing. Yep. The Five of Pentacles with the Four of Cups, leaving them out in the cold not accepting any offer that they have to bring. Your reading was kind of easy, so it's going to end when it ends. I hope you guys can hear me because it sounds like my microphone's kind of low. Let's see. That might be a little bit better. I don't know what it is for me. Hmm. Yep. They're not going anywhere. If you're trying to get rid of someone, forget it. I don't feel like this person is ever just going to give up. Even whether you want them to give up or not, it's irrelevant. I, for them, I just don't feel like they're going to. I feel like they're just going to keep trying to, you know, come in.
And this may be someone who's traveling to see you. So some of you have a long distance relationship with someone who just doesn't give up or they keep coming in and out of your life or they keep coming back, back and forth, back and forth. And maybe they had this King of Wands energy where, you know, they came across as someone who was, you know, like a bold leader, that confident type of a person, powerful, charming. But really, they, they reduce themselves to a Knight of Wands when they're coming after you, like, like an 18-year-old horny boy or girl, you know, if you're a male listening. And you, I feel like you probably wanted them to come and be this way. And that's what broke your heart because you found out that, again, that this person is just very immature, childish. They just go after that, that passion and, you know, they're not commitment types. Or it's, this person's not the commitment type. But like I was saying, I don't feel like this person is going to be walking away anytime soon because of the eight of pentacles. I feel like they're just going to wait until you decide to <laughs> give them your body <laughs> until you let them master it e either for the first time or once more. And I do feel like they'll keep messaging you, especially, especially if you have your boundaries up and you tell them no. It's going to be kind of a, ch a challenge. So let me look at the love energy and guidance for you guys. From the Angel Oracle, Romance Angel Oracle deck. Retreat. <laughs> it's time to disconnect from the world. So that's basically what's going on. You just... Uh, that's what the nine of wands does. That's a retreating energy. <clears throat> so I don't feel like this person is healthy in the sense that, you know, they, at least I'm picking that up from you that you already know that because of this three of swords card that they've, they've broken you in the past. <clears throat> Either they caused you depression or made you, you know, constantly feel obsessed with them because they were in and out all the time. Um, or, you know, there was divorce. If you were divorced from someone, even if you were divorced from someone, there's someone new coming in, but watch out because they just have that, they're chasing after you because they recognize your vulnerability. And that's kind of a user energy. But the Three of Swords is a, is a card of loss. So whatever it is that you're going through, I, some of you are just going through some type of a healing thing right now and you need to stay on that path, I feel like, and it's okay. I mean, even if somebody does come in and you're just having a night of fun with them, um, just don't get attached. And I, I don't feel like you will. Just because you are, you've got your swords up and your boundaries set, you may not be ready for something with someone. Um, let me see if I can, if there's anything else. Some of you have, even if you're divorced or separated, your ex is returning. But they're returning because I don't know what type of person you were dealing with, but they're very immature. They may have moved away or you moved out of the house, but they're trying to come back or trying to get you back. Maybe you ended the relationship and you, you know, or the marriage or whichever, and they're still coming after you. Like they're not letting go. They want to still put work into it or put the effort into it. They don't want it to end. I feel like, too, you know, if you have a child or 
with this person or several, you know, uh, they want to come back and, you know, either take you on a trip or, you know, have you guys move or you go move with where they are or start your lives over. Even if you've divorced them, even if there's divorce, they, I feel like they want to offer that love again. They want to try again. But these two cards here are telling me that's a no. Not right now. <laughs> Not a good time for me. I'm kind of like getting my life together. Not a good time. Because <laughs> look, there's a woman and child. So for some of you, you know, you have a, have a child. And, you know, look at him coming to take both of you. <clears throat> and it's like, I feel like you just want to be left alone from this person. Um, only because you don't trust that they have changed or you don't trust that, that, you know, something's different about them. And I don't really feel like it is. I feel like it's anything has changed. I just feel like they are, they're still very immature and they're just coming back to either take control of the situation. You know, that's what, that's what the Knight of Wands, he kind of has that lusty, free spirited energy and he really doesn't think about the consequences of anything. He just goes, he's passionate, you know, that kind of thing. So um, he may at one time have been a stand-up person, but some type of a heartbreak happened or something could have involved three people or infidelity. For some of you, you were heartbroken by someone and, you know, someone ended something with you because of another person. Could have been you, you know, who was cheating or, you know, having an affair or something going on with someone else. But I don't feel like you did that because you're just crazy. I feel like this King of Wands, um, you know, he was, he was not, he broke your heart for some reason. And maybe there was someone else or someone else coming in that wants to take you away, but you're still heartbroken. Your boundaries are still up. You still feel that betrayal and you don't want to um, give your heart or accept love right now from anyone, for some of you. And so that's why the retreat card is here. You're just taking some time to yourself. You're doing you. You're getting your money right, working on your, your finances, building a business, you know, working very hard, paying attention, clearly focused on what you're doing. And either you've got two people waiting in the, in the balance or one person's waiting for you. Either way, there's waiting energy. Or, you know, it could be some of you are waiting for this King of Wands to come back and you have a Knight of Wands just kind of like chasing after you that you, you don't want to be with. Like a younger person. And so some of you are just retreating into work, but in the back of your mind, you could just be waiting for your king of wands to come and unbreak your heart. So here's the nine of swords. It was a very stressful, anxiety-induced situation. And this queen of cups, she fell out in the reverse. So, and that, I was putting that there. And so that could be a cancer female that could have had, you know, a, this could have been a three party thing or Scorpio or Pisces female, the cancer or the queen of cups in the reverse. She's basically smothering, insecure. There could have been an addiction. You know, maybe she was obsessed with him or there was something like that going on or there was some kind of obsession and your heart got broken. Or that, you know, you could have picked up that energy with the Queen of Cups a little bit where you were clingy to the person you were with. And... Um, 
but it was just so stressful because I feel like they were, you know, just like not really paying attention to you. You know, he's not facing forward. He's looking sideways. He's not even paying attention. So he may not have been giving you what you needed in the relationship or the connection. And this is definitely the Aries card. So he was focused on his growth and what he was getting. He's ready for action. The way he sits there, ready for action, ready to move. He's ready to go. Kind of like a police officer who has his hand on the gun. watching everything and everyone but you, so just too involved. And you may have been trying to get his attention for a long time, and it just, he kept breaking your heart. So I think I'm going to end your reading there. Um, I'm going to try and do a live feed on Sunday. I haven't committed to it yet, but if I do, it'll just show up on my channel, um, be around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Sunday. So if you want to catch it, do look for it. I mean, I'm not going to post anything about it. This is all I'm going to say. So if, I'll, if I'm there, I'm there. We'll just do a chat. You can ask me questions and we'll just chit chat back and forth. All right, Libra. Um, have a great first half of August. Hope everything works out and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.